leadership is sales. Unfortunately for most of us, leadership is a job. Political offices are viewed as jobs. So we have job seekers running for offices so that they can make money. This has become a source of wealth. So you look at people as votes and not necessarily as people. Take a step back. My brother says we need leaders. No, we don't need those leaders. The, le the leaders needed are you and I. We are the leaders. We are supposed to step up and say for our people, what can we do better? The man that I talk among the people campaigning for leadership, he's called Kuku Kwatin or something like that. This is the guy who has some leadership inside. Kuku, uh, Kofi Kwatin or Kofi Kwatin. Kofi Kwatin. Yes. This guy has some brilliant ideas. Because as a leader, you must know the truth of what you are coming to lead. So he mentioned about the debt we have. And he talked about a Greek. You see, I'm talking about cassava. He said, let's put $10 billion in cassava, a Greek. And I tell you, 10 billion, if we put 10 billion in cassava, hey! Ghana will be more than okay. And every village can farm cassava. So what are we talking about? So I love to be in my country that will be abroad. But I can only see that happening if the country can be led properly. Let's stop this politics. Look at the manifesto. Yeah, this guy, he talked about manifestos are not what we need. We need a national development plan. Lift for a cup of it. That is exactly what we need, national development plan. Now somebody go and bring their manifesto and come and deceive people. And another people will come and say, okay, uh, we, we can't do this, and we are going to continue another thing. And then we have lot money there. Yeah, that's what we are doing, doing with manifesto. But if we have a national development plan, whoever you are, when you come, you continue. I'm the only one who says, number one, I'm going to change the constitution. Number two, I'm going to eradicate corruption. Number three, I'm going to institute a national development plan. Number four, I'm going to reduce government by 73%, make it effective, efficient, and functional. And number five, invest $10 billion in agriculture for the next 10 years. Drone-controlled mechanized farming.